what in the world do you see there? It's the American flag, isn't it? What is a flag? It's a symbol of a country. Kind of like a logo or something that you see in uh, like a picture that stands for something. Colors of a baseball team or soccer team. The patterns and the colors stand for something. This is red, white, and blue, isn't it? These stars, there's 50 stars. They all stand for 50 states in the United States. And then there's 13 red and white stripes that stand for the very first 13 colonies. Look at some more flags. I don't know what flag this is. This is, uh, um, I don't know who this is for. Another country. That's another country. Wow, look at all those flags. Not sure what that is either. Flags for something. Australian. Whew. Look at all those flags. Oh, there's flags of the world. Wow, that is a lot of flags, isn't it? These flags go for countries in North America, which is up here. These flags stand for the countries down here in South America. All of these stand for countries in Africa. These stand for countries over in this area where Australia's at. All of these stand for countries in Asia. And these stand for countries in Europe. There's a lot of flags, isn't it? There's a flag. That's the English flag. More pictures of flags. Lots of pictures of flags, isn't there? All kinds of flags. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our page today, pages today. I'm going to look at this page right here. Do you have this page out? Make sure you get this page out. It's got flags up here. Flag time. We're going to be seeing a flag. That's a lot of flags. Every country in the world has a flag. Let's look at this about the government. This is government time. Baseball or board games without rules would be a mess. And living together with people would be a mess if not for God's laws that help us live right and help us live in peace. In this way, families are supposed to be safe places for us to grow in. Some families live on farms or in cities that are a part of a country. Each country has a government that sets up the rules or the laws. A government is made up of people who rule other people and run the country. They oversee laws and taxes to fund the government services, including provision for the, for the poor, the military protection, and the court system. Something important to remember when talking about countries and leaders of countries is this following verse from the Bible. Therefore, I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 2. Can you get your page out, your thankful page? And can you pause this and write down one thing that you are thankful for today? All right, I'm hoping you wrote down something you were thankful for. Did you do that? All right. Let us then, I am fixing to be with you. I am doing something else that I shouldn't be doing. Okay, here we go. Look at the talk time right here. It says, what are some rules that help your family stay peaceful? Think about rules that your mom and dad have in your home. Do you have rules? Are they good rules? Do you like rules? No, <laughs> rules aren't always fun, are they? No, but they do keep us safe and they do keep, uh, they do keep us to where we know what to do and what not to do, don't they? They do, yeah. Let's look at this page back here. See this page? 
got a flag, don't they? It's an American flag. Here's you a language piece right down here. This is an Italian word for the week is, I don't know how you say it, C-A-O or K-I-O, and it means hello in Italian, but I don't know how to say it. But you could write that down if you want to and see if your mom can look that up on Google Translate and see how to say that, how to say hello in Italian. All right. Make sure you wrote down your something that you're thankful for today, okay? And that'll be it all for today.